Thanks for joining us once again. Holly Shields here reporting for Calkine Media. Today's topic, an educational one, the Hatch-Waxman Act. The Drug Price Competition and Patent Term Restoration Act, or the Hatch-Waxman Act, is a legal framework authorized by the Congress in 1984. The act came into force to streamline the approval process of generic drugs and preserve innovation incentives and establish a procedure for litigation involving generic pharmaceuticals. The Hatch-Waxman Act established a legal as well as economic foundation for the U.S. generic drug industry. The act offers drug developers some protection while facilitating and giving incentives for companies to file an abbreviated new drug application, or ANDA. Hatch-Waxman balances out between innovation and affordability. The Act also offers incentives to drug manufacturing companies for R&D of innovative medicines. Moreover, Hatch-Waxman offers affordability by developing an abbreviated path for generic drug developers to bring pharmaceuticals to a market at a lower cost. In the US, many top-selling prescription medicines are currently the subject of patent challenges by some generic firms seeking to enter the market under Hatch-Waxman Act. Some of them are Singulaire, which is treatment of asthma or allergy, Lovenox, which treats deep vein thrombosis or pulmonary embolism, another one is Ablify, which treats schizophrenia, bipolar disorder and depressive disorder drug. What are the basics of the Hatch-Waxman Act? The Hatch-Waxman Act regulates the approval procedure along with the marketing of generic drugs. Under this act, the marketing authorization procedure for generic drugs is streamlined. The act permits generic drug developers to file an ANDA incorporating the safety and effectiveness date submitted by the brand drug manufacturer. Only bioequivalence studies need to be added. Moreover, generic manufacturers can develop and evaluate the product without any worries of infringement action by the patent holder. The Hatch-Waxman Act provisions are exclusively applicable to pharmaceutical patents and are distinct from infringement procedures related to other patented products and processes. New drug manufacturers were given protections in two ways. Firstly, by providing market exclusivity to the drug innovator, with a five-year data exclusivity to a new chemical entity, a new kind of market exclusivity was introduced. During the exclusivity period, the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, cannot authorize a generic version of an innovative drug. Another one was the extension in the life of patents. The Act allows an extension in the life covering the time of drug is under the FDA regulatory review. This makes sure that regulatory review will not consume the life of a patent. Once again, thanks for joining us. This has been Holly Shields for Calkine Media.